Welcome to another video. Today we are going to go through the installation and setup process of brand exponent themes. So we have three themes under brand exponents. There's Oshine, which is a multi-purpose creative WordPress theme. We have Exponent, which is a modern multi-purpose business WordPress theme. And also there is Spyro, which is a marketing landing page WordPress theme. And the setup process is basically the same for all of these themes since they're all brand exponents themes. And we are going to go through the process of setting up one of these themes. So they are all beautifully designed and well documented. So you can go through each of these themes to choose the one that is right for you. So we are going to go through the installation process of this one. It's Oshine. And the first thing you need to do is purchase your theme. So once you click buy now, you just want to go through the checkout process and you will receive a link from Envato to download your theme as well as your purchase code. So you would need to manually upload your theme to WordPress to install it. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate this process right now. All right, so this is our dashboard. And by the way, this is a disposable WordPress instance that was set up using a service called InstaWP. So with this service, you can quickly launch a disposable WordPress environment. In under one minute, it does everything for you, such as setting up SSL, and it is extremely flexible. So check it out, instawp.io. All right, so back at our WordPress dashboard, we just want to go ahead and quickly set up our plugin. So let's go over to Appearance, Hover, then click Themes. Click Add New at the top. And click Upload Theme. All right, so now we just want to upload the zip folder for our theme. So we can either click choose file to browse our computer to find our zip file, or we can simply drag and drop the file into this box right here. So I'm going to use the drag and drop method. I just want to drag this over to the box, then click install now. So now we just want to wait until our theme installs. So I'm going to speed up this part. So our theme has installed successfully. Let's click activate. All right, so we have successfully activated our Oshine theme. So at the top, we have our welcome message. And if we take a look at the bottom, we have five tabs, getting started, license, installed plugins, import and system status. So go over to license. So this is where you need to paste your purchase code that you received from Envato. So I'm going to paste the purchase code right now. All right, so once you're done, you just want to move to the bottom of the page. And here we have a subscribe section. So this is where you can paste your email if you want to receive notifications for new features and bug fixes. So if you are interested, just type your email address and click submit. So we are going to type our email address right now. So let's submit our purchase code and our email address. All right, so we have successfully activated our plugin and submitted our email address. So let's move over to the install plugins tab. So this is where we install our themes essential plugins. So all we need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click install and activate. So now we just want to wait for all of our plugins to install. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video. All right, so we have installed all of our essential plugins. So let's move to the import tab to install our demo. All right, so these are the demos that we can choose from. So essentially, you want to select a demo that matches the type of website that you are creating. So let's imagine we are building a restaurant website and we don't want to start from scratch. We can just use this Oshine restaurant demo. So click it. And we just want to move over to the left hand side to select our demo content. So let's check the box next to each of the available options. Once you're done, click import data. So this prompt basically informs us that we can overwrite our Oshine options if we proceed. So in our case, that is OK. So let's click the proceed button. And I'm going to speed up this part. All right, so we have successfully imported our website demo. Let's click view site. 
All right, so here we have our beautiful Oshine restaurant demo. And this website is fully customizable, so you can go through each page and replace the content with your own. So once you are ready to edit your page, all you need to do is move over to the top and click edit with Tatsu. So once you've done this, your page should open up with the Tatsu page builder. So you can use this to edit new page content. So you can replace content that's already on the page or you can add your own. You also have your responsive options at the bottom to change your website's layout. So once you're done making your changes, all you need to do is click the save button in the bottom left hand corner. To view your page, click view page in the top right hand corner. All right, so I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.